So this is my closet. It's just white and this is what I keep my makeup in, in here. So I'm opening this. Bam! This is my makeup tower. I got this from Staples and they're just two connected together and I'm not sure how much they were. Something tells me they're like $20 for both. That might, I don't even know. I got this a really long time ago. So, But before we get started with this, I have stuff up here that I want to show you. And um, first off, my palettes. I'm going to show you those. So we'll start off with this one. This is the Creative Me Number 1 palette from Coastal Scents. This is the Creative Me Number 1 palette. And as you can see, it has some really bright colors in it. Um, I don't really use that all that often, but it's really fun to experiment with when I'm just feeling really colory. But it has these gorgeous colors in it, so... And next is another palette from Coastal Scents. I love Coastal Scents palettes, guys. They're, like, the best. And BH Cosmetics. So this is the Six Contour and Blush palette. And as you can see, these pans are really, really big. I usually just use these colors over here, but sometimes I'll use this and this. These colors I don't use all that often because that's, like, a really dark brown, and I don't really know, like, even what to do with that, so. Next is my BH... 120 palette and this is the third edition it comes in two layers so this is the first layer and it has all these really pretty colors in it so my favorite is the second layer because it has all of these really cool neutral colors and i don't know i just feel like this layer is a lot more wearable for me my coastal sense 88 matte palette well it's just the regular 88 palette i always call it the 88 matte palette but that's not what it's called so it looks like this, and this probably looks totally different now because I've had this since 2009. This is my absolute favorite palette that I own because it's the only one that I really use right now. I use this color that you see I've hit pan on for filling in my eyebrows, and I love these silver colors to do like silver smoky eyes and stuff. And then I use the black for eyeliner, and I don't really use any of these colors because I don't really wear a lot of bright colors. Then I have the e.l.f. Beauty Encyclopedia. This looks like this. I never use this. I used to use it a lot, but I don't anymore. So that's what that looks like. Then up here, I have this really random Urban Decay foreshadow palette. And I love it because it has these, like, thingies that make these really cool noises. Okay, so it comes with four colors, and the first one is Oil Slick. Stray Dog, Midnight Cowboy, and Flipside. Now we're going to get into the tower. So this could take a while, so bear with me. So in the back, I have this brush roll. It looks like this, and it can carry a lot of brushes, and it has this little pouch in it right there. I'm planning on using this for travel because I am planning a really, really awesome trip really soon. Once it comes closer, I will let you guys know about it. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to make a whole video about that once the trip gets closer, but I'm really excited to use that for my brushes for travel and stuff, so yeah. Then back here are not all my brushes. Some of my brushes are in my bathroom because that's where I do most of my makeup and stuff, um, but I just have some Revlon brushes, e.l.f., obviously, Eco Tools, and then just this random brand that this brush roll came with and these are like my favorite brushes ever and I got it at Walmart so random kabuki brush it's really dark in here I'm sorry then I have my elf brush shampoo and then my daily brush cleanser from elf as well then I have my profusion ultra shimmer eight color eyeshadow daily thingy this has these really pretty ultra shimmer colors um I have this bath and body works little mini hand lotion and peach citrus and this smells so good Oh my gosh, girl. This smells really good. I have my only baby lips. I have no idea where all my baby lips went. And then I'm left with the one that I really don't like. I never use this one because the color just doesn't look good on me. So that's kind of a bummer. Then I have these random eyeshadows here from Hard Candy. This one's in Peace. And then this one is in Rush Hour, I think. Then I have this random MAC eyeshadow from the Neo Sci-Fi Collection. And this is in Time and Space. This one, oh, yay. It's just a pretty generic brown color. Then I have all my EOS lip balms which is like my favorite part of my whole collection because I am in love with these things. I have raspberry pomegranate, pomegranate, raspberry pomegranate which is one of their newer ones so I got that. Medicated tangerine which is my all-time favorite. Strawberry sorbet, honeydew melon or something like that. Um, lemon drop and then I have summer fruit which I hate so um, okay, so first drawer is just mascaras and eyeliners and random eye stuff, so I'll just quickly go through this. So I just have a bunch of mascaras ranging from Maybelline and Rimmel, CoverGirl, Lash Blast, I have like two of those in different kinds. Um, Great Lash, 
hard candy lash tinsel this is really pretty and it like has purple glitter in it so your like tips get all glittery and stuff it's really cool um then i have a bunch of eyeliners i have line stiletto from maybelline hard candy hot smudge eyeliner i'll just put that over there because it's kind of in the way lash adhesive um, then I have an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Bourbon. It came with my Get Baked palette by Urban Decay. So. so yeah, I just have a bunch of really, really random eyeliners. And then over here, oh, those are things I'm supposed to throw away. So Second drawer, I just have primers and bases and stuff. I have two Revlon Cream Eyeshadow Quads. And these are really old because the packaging doesn't look like this anymore. This one is in Moonlit Jewels. And this one is in seashells, which is my favorite. So, just really neutral colors. So, just put those back there. I have a MAC Paint Pot in Mosscape, which is a green color, and I don't really use it all that often. Then I have this Big Bounce Shadow from MAC, and it's in Trophy. Then I have this Mini Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, and then just a couple of cream shadows from e.l.f. Third drawer foundations and powders and just pretty much anything to do with my face. I just have a couple primers here from e.l.f. and then Raw Minerals or something like that. Yep. Um, I have a face sunscreen which comes in so handy during the summer because my nose gets so sunburnt and then I just have this little Rudolph nose for the whole summer. Super embarrassing. It's SPF 70 so I use this before I put any of my makeup on and then I have additional makeup that has SPF in it so I think I'm set for the summer. Um, then I have my anti-redness primer which I use almost every single day. My favorite product out of this whole drawer, which is the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB Cream. This is my lifesaver. If I could have anything in the whole wide world to just put on my face forever, it'd be this. Then I have the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, then I have my Invisible Concealer and then a concealer from Murad that's medicated, but it's almost all out. Then I have the All May Wake Up Hydrating Makeup. Then I have, okay, I have some organic wear powder, which I don't really wear. Revlon Color Stay Bronzer. MAC to the Beach Bronzer. Then I have this Neutrogena powder. A CoverGirl powder. Then I have two MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. This one, okay. This one is in Perfect Topping, and it's from the Sugar Sweet Collection of like 2008 or something like that. So opening this up. This is in Cheeky Bronze. It's another mineralized skin finish. And this looks like the mountains of... It looks like the Grand Canyon. That's what it looks like. Or like um, the mountains of California. This next drawer, bear with me. I never organize this drawer because I just have too much to put in it. It's my lip drawer. And I'm not going to go through everything because that just takes way too long. But pretty much I just have... I have some Revlon. This is like a purple lip gloss. CoverGirl, Wet Slick Fruit Spitzers. I have some lip pencils from e.l.f. and Hard Candy. I have a lot of these Maybelline New York Color Sensational lipsticks. Um, I have this. Oh, this is the MAC Hello Kitty Pink Fish Tinted uh, Lip Conditioner. Yep, SPF 15. And this is from the Hello Kitty Collection. And really pretty and I've used this a lot so. so yeah and then I just have um maybe next lipstick from the pearls collection a elf tinted conditioner lip conditioner thing then I just have a bunch of random lip glosses and mac lipsticks and I love how they look like little bullets I have some elf lip glosses yeah so that's pretty much it you guys kind of get the full overview of my lip Products. If you want an in-depth look at all of my lip products, I will make an individual video. If you guys actually want to see every single lip product I have, just let me know because that could be quite interesting. This is my blush drawer. Only blush. This is the overview. First I have my Dream Bouncy blush, of course, and this is in pink frosting, so it looks like that. I have this NYC color wheel in, ooh, what's this? Peach Glow. Looks like that. This is my favorite blush at the moment, which I don't even think they sell this anymore. It's in Dusty Mauve, and it's from the Maybelline New York Expert Wear collection, I believe. Yep. Um, I have some CoverGirl. I have a MAC blush. This is my only MAC blush, and it's in Spring Sheen. It's really pretty. No, no. Revlon Cream Blush. And Okay, I want to show you guys something about this because I think this is really cool. Okay, so you see that little button right there? I'm going to push it. And you want to see what happens? 
it comes out with a mirror. I have this Gemma Kid blush, and I have two of these, but I don't know where the other one went. Um, I have this e.l.f. contouring and blush duo. Ooh, I just got my finger in that. Um, I have this blush from e.l.f. Mm, open. Looks like this. And this is in Tickle Pink TCW. Ew. I like colors. Then I have a hard candy blush, which I use mostly as like a highlighter, and it is in Pin Up. So, yep, that's pretty much my blush drawer. I don't have a lot of blushes at all. Next is my eyeshadow drawer, which will probably take the longest. So, these are all of my eyeshadows. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll just start with this one. This is my Urban Decay Get Baked palette. It's one of my favorite palettes that I own. I love Urban Decay. It looks like this. And I've used this a lot, as you can tell. This color is in Baked, Flip Side, Half Baked, and Twice Baked. So, beautiful, beautiful palette. I don't know if they sell this anymore, actually. So, Okay, then I have some LA Colors palettes. I like three of those, so those are all right. Um, then I have this color, which I use as a highlight from CoverGirl, and it is in what is this in? Snow Blossom. Then I have this random Maybelline quad down here, Velvet Crush, which I love. This I have two Revlon matte eyeshadows in really crazy colors that I never really wear. Then I have my Maybelline New York Eye Studio in Mocha Mirage. Then I have two of these Maybelline duos. This first one is in Coco Delight. And then this one, where the other one went. Then I have this one, which I don't know what it's in. Oh, Irish Mist. Alright. Then I have this LA Colors Quad. And they're the baked eyeshadows. And this is in Nightlife. Um, this Hard Candy Book of Shadows kind of dealio. And it is in Temptation. Then I have a couple of these. Uh, Maybelline Eye Studio quads, if you guys remember these. This is in Give Me Gold, and this one is in Sapphire Siren. So I'll just go back and organize these later. Then I have this e.l.f. trio. Bombshell Brown. Um, LA Colors palettes, which they're like not even worth showing. I really don't like those. This is one of my favorites. This is from Wet n Wild and it's their trio in Walking on Eggshells. Then I have my e.l.f. quad back here that I customized myself. Alright, and it looks like this. I don't remember the colors. I have a bunch of TCW eyeshadows which are just like a bunch of random duos and stuff just in really crazy colors. Then I have all of these pigment sets they just come in a whole bunch of different colors. They're from like bonbons or something. So they're nothing special. These three hard candy eyeshadows. This is in, oh, these are really pretty. These are the, um, they are the Meteor Eye Baked Glitter Eyeshadows. And this one's in outer space and it's just black. I wish I could pull off just plain black eyeshadow because that would be really cute. Then I have this one, which is like a glittery brown. It's in Lunar Space. Then I have this one. It's a glittery green. And it's in Space Cadet. So I'm pretty sure I got those for Christmas one year. This is They're both in Butter Pecan. This is the cream eyeshadow and then this is the powder one. So I have a few MAC eyeshadows. This one's in Grand Entrance. This is my favorite MAC eyeshadow ever. I've hit pan on it which makes me really sad. This is what I use a lot lately. Then I have this from the To The Beach collection. It's called Shimmer Moss. It's this really pretty blue color. So it looks like this. And it is called Humid. Then this one is called Firecracker and it says Bright Red. These colors are just gorgeous. This is actually like a pinky red. I have these two Orglamics eyeshadows. This one's in Twilight. And this yellow one, oh my gosh, this yellow one is so pretty. It's in Citron. So it's really nice. Then I have another TCW. I have another MAC eyeshadow in, what is this one called? Oh, Et Tu Bokeh. I think it's like French or something. Then I have two e.l.f. eyeshadows. This one is in Earthy. I have this one in Royal. 
so it's pretty nice. So that is pretty much it in my eyeshadow drawer. So and, um, the first tower is like my makeup tower, and then the rest is really random. So I haven't even checked to see what's in here. So yeah, next drawer. Let's see. Okay. So if you guys didn't know, I was like obsessed with sampling there for a really long time. And so this is like my samples drawer. It has a bunch of random samples in here, guys. I'm not going to lie. Anything from, like, feminine products to um, anything from the beauty bags that I got that I, like, made videos on. I have a bunch of samples from Mario Badescu. Shampoo and conditioner samples. Oh, my gosh. I can take this on my trip. Awesome. I knew I did that for a reason. Another shampoo sample. This is a tea sample, which I'm really excited to try. Propel Zero. Zero. Oh, my gosh. Makeup and remover wipe samples. Um, a BB cream from Garnier. Then I won this from Physicians Formula, which I was really cool. They have like these every Wednesday and Friday. They have like giveaways, and I actually won one, which they're extremely difficult to get your hands on because the site crashes all the time when the contest is going on. So I was really excited to get this, and it is the uh, intensive wrinkle corrector eye cream, which I don't really have wrinkles around my eyes, but anyways. Then I have these three Coastal Scent samples that I got when I ordered my palettes. Then just this Ultra Lift stuff. Then all of my Mario Badescu stuff. I have the Kiwi Face Scrub Drying Mask, which this stuff really stinks. Then I have the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. What is this? Drying Cream. Special Cucumber Lotion. Healing and Soothing Mask, and then I have Collagen Moisturizer, and then I have a Hyaluronic Eye Cream. So, that is it in my sample drawer. So, drawer is all of my nail polish, which, oh my gosh, it's really heavy. I'm going to be doing an updated nail polish collection very, very soon, so I'm not even going to get into this, but that's where I keep my nail polishes. So, yep. Alright, then this drawer... I just have a bunch of random stuff, samples, makeup bags. I have crayons in here because I like to color, okay, guys? Oh, my gosh. I bet my Sim CD is in here. I've been looking for my Sim CD for a while. Let's see. Thrillville. What's this? Justin Bieber movie. Yay, there's my Sims 3 game. And there's Sims 2, so I'll just keep that in here because I don't play Sims 2 all that often. Then I have a bunch of these CDs, which are mostly PlayStation games because me and Katie... We like to play PlayStation games, so. I have this waterproof camera from last summer that I need to get developed, but it costs like $5, and you have to send it away, and then you have to come back and get it, so it's really annoying. This random lip gloss, which I'm pretty sure that is the girl I babysits. Um, Selena Gomez perfume sample. I was the first 10000 to get this, so that was really cool. Um, Taylor Swift sample. Some makeup bags. This is These are both from my beauty bags from Target. I get those every season. So this is spring, this is summer, and then this one was fall. And I'm putting a bunch of stuff over here recently for my trip that's coming up in like two months or so. So drawer. This drawer I just have more samples. I have a coffee sample, my Barrio Badescu guide. I have a bunch of perfume samples in here, like a ridiculous amount. And then I just have like a bunch of food stuff. Then, oh, look at this picture of me. Drawer. This drawer. More makeup bags. Elastics. Adkins carb counter and acceptable. Acceptable. <laughs> Adkins carb counter and acceptable foods list. Never use that. All right. Then the last drawer is just um, replaceable heads for my for my Sonicare toothbrush that I use. Then um, just some makeup brush holders some wheels for this thing, but I don't use that. This Mario Badescu thing. Just a bunch of brushes that I don't really use. Um, stuff to clean my glasses with. But yeah, that's really it. So now my whole makeup area is kind of a mess now because I have all this stuff laying around. But yeah, that is my makeup collection and updated storage. So Yep, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was like so crazy. It's just, If you guys have any video requests, please leave them down below and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!